Model 6 well 100 screw type presses can be used for various oil bearing materials such as beans, ground nuts, sesame, cotton seeds, rope seeds, and coconuts, etc. It consists of five parts hopper, gearbox, pressing case, pressing screw, and the machinery body. Before starting machine, check whether lubricant has been filled in all operating parts. Bevel gear and push wire should be filled one to two times per day. Gearbox should be filled about 10 kilos at its first time. Every six months, the lubricant should be replaced. Bearings should be filled with grease each year. Then check whether the large pulley is small or not. After that, rotate the adjusting bolt and tighten the screw to its end. Loosen the adjusting bolt for three to four circles, and then tighten it again for half circle. To ensure a gap between tightening a nut and a residue cake outlet, finally, tighten lock nut. After switching on the motor, check large pulley. If its rotation direction is in accordance with the marked direction, if not, adjust the wear ends of the motor. Exchange any two ends of them. We finished the checking work. Start the machine to pre-press. At the beginning, low chamber temperature, rough shaft and overfitting are easy to lead to a certain stop and shaft block. Therefore, at the beginning, fitting must be steady and slow, and the shaft must be smoothened by pressing broken cake residue or oil material repeatedly. Besides, as chamber temperature reaches 80 centigrade, the cake looks like 1 to 1.5 mm thick tile and the oil comes out normally. A lock nut can be tightened. Then put the prepared materials in the hopper slowly and begin normal press. If no cake is extruded or the shaft is blocked, you can loosen lock nut and then return back adjusting bolt for one to two circles to increase gap between residue cake outlet and the tightening nut. Do not adjust the cake thickness until cake comes out normally. In operation, two big gaps among round plates and square rods always cause cracked residue. If gaps among round plates are too big, tighten compaction wear. If gaps among square rods are too big, remove square rods holder and retighten the rods. Improper water content sometimes also leads to cracked residue. In this case, please adjust water content of materials according to operation manual. And the cracked residue caused by one part after a long time use could be avoided by refreshing new parts. Meanwhile, when pressing the materials with high oil content, two small gaps among round plates or square rods will cause oil returning to hopper. This can be avoided by increasing gaps, adjusting cake thickness, reducing chamber pressure, lessening motor pulley diameter, or slowing down press shift speed. Another phenomenon always met during pressing is low output. It always occurs when new machines are used. All the parts of old machine are worn out, or the water content of oil material is not proper. In this case, please adjust the machine as above or change cold pressing into hot pressing. In all, truth comes from practice, and the practice makes perfect. Wish every user could keep on accumulating more experience to operate the machine smoothly. Thus, you can reduce the unnecessary loss and let this machine make contribution to your wealth. In case the machine needs to stop during pressing, you should adjust the cake to its most thickness. Repeatedly move screw forward and backward for several times and let all materials resided in the chamber go out. After that, you can stop the machine. Assemble a disassembly of main parts. Assemble a disassembly of pressing screw. Disassembly. Take off cake puller, turn push wire and return it back from the sleeve of frame. Then remove protective cap, run nuts and bearing. Pull push wire out of shaft. Then insert a bar into lock nut and hammer the bar. 
Take out a lock nut and each part of the pressing screw can be removed. If the pressing screw can be removed, tap or hit pressing screw to bring out the slag particles between pressing screw and the shaft. In this way, lock nut and each part of the pressing screw can be removed. Assembly. Erect the worm shaft. Put the big end downward. Mount the lock nut. Then mount the lock first screw and then the second, the third, the fourth to the seventh in sequence. Tighten lock nut and mount the bearing 30309, adjusting bolt bearing 51309, one nuts and the square nuts. Keep one to two millimeter gap between rod nuts and the bearing to ensure a hand can swing adjusting bolts smoothly. Assembly and disassembly of present case. Disassembly. Remove four pieces M16 coupling bolts at the two ends of upper case and ten pieces M14 on the surface of case. And remove upper pressing case. Rotate a clamp nut and loosen it. Remove upper pressing case to take off round place and square rods holder. Remove square rods. Keep square rods holder horizontal. Tap the end of one rod and take it out and the others will drop automatically. When assembling rods, erase the rods holder and make its side with oil grooves downwards. Then pull the square rods neatly to touch holder's inner wall circumferentially with the end of grooves downwards. Please note that grooves of every two rods must not touch. Finally, insert shims by hammer properly into rods gap. If rods are still too loose, add a thin end tape to the head of the hammered rod to adjust the rods gap. Then the rods firmly touch the holder's inner wall smoothly. Then install rods holder on the pressing case. The side with oil grooves should face to the end of the kick outlet. Then mount the 33 mm thick number one round plate. The side with oil grooves should face to the end of the kick outlet. Mount the 20 mm thick number two to number eight round plates. Hold the chamfers on one side of the inner hole. The 20 mm thick number nine round plate. Hold the chamfers on both sides of the inner hole. The 60 mm thick number ten round plate. The number one, number eleven round plate. Hold the chamfers on one side of the inner hole. The number twelve to number sixteen round plate. Hold the sizes and the shapes are like those of number two to number 8 round the plate. Finally, mount the se number 17 round the plate, whose size and shape are like those of number 9 round the plate. Points for attention. Goods for of all rods should not be touched. Then mount the lock nut and don't tighten too many circles. Mount the upper pressing case and tighten 10 pieces and 14 bolts and 4 pieces and 16 bolts to finish installation.